What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with, I hope I say this name right, Ashwari Rai, Savage Reply to David Letterman, nailed it. Before we dive into this, if you guys end up enjoying the video, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Let's dive right in. She is often called the most beautiful woman in the world as she stars in a new film entitled Bride and Prejudice, which opens in selected cities on Friday. Please say hello to Ashwari Rai. <laughs> Show. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you very much uh, for being here. Now, I've uh, tried to explain a little bit about who you are and where you're from and what you do. Uh, why, why don't you help us out here? Uh, where are you from? I'm from India. From India? Uh, I live in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. and, Mumbai. Now, um, that used to be uh, uh, Bombay. Bombay. Right? And they changed it when? Uh, not so long ago, mm -hmm. but if, so we're still getting used to calling it Mumbai because right. it's Bombay mm. for us. But they changed it right back to Mumbai because that's what it used to be originally. Mm -hmm. And then okay. Bombay came with the British colonization, uh -huh. as it was? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. and, uh, okay. and your uh, family still lives there? Yes, yes. yes. And you're, uh, you work in films in India? Mm -hmm. and, and this Bollywood thing, was I right about that also? About calling it Bollywood? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> B from Bombay, yeah. what is Hollywood that? What, from Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> she likes it. But, but is, is that where it comes from, the Bollywood? Well, I, I assume because, um, yeah, that's probably yeah. how it got identified. And initially, mm. um, when I listen to my seniors, they're not extremely ecstatic about the fact that that's the way it's referred to. Mm. But now it's down in the dictionary, so yes. that's oh. the way it's... And, and it's a, it is a thriving film industry, isn't it? Mm. Like 800 mm. movies a year. Oh, yeah. God, there's a hey. <laughs> Yeah, plenty. And, and how many films have you been in? Um, about 25 now. Mm. And w what was your biggest film, your biggest worldwide uh, film success? Well, I think the first movie that uh, not so long ago was, was Dave Das that, uh, that, you know, premiered at the Cannes Festival. And that kind of uh, got people talking and noticing mm -hmm. me. Yeah. And are, are these films done in, in uh, English or not English? No, in Indian languages. In, well, what in, in Hindi. Hindi. In Hindi. Hindi. That's a national language, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And how, how many languages do, do you speak? Well, I, I can um, speak about four languages, yeah, yeah. and Indian. I do understand, yeah. Okay, tell me the four languages. Hindi, Marathi, um, my mother tongue, Tulu, and um, Broken Tamil as well. Wow. <laughs> and dang, and then you throw English on, so you can speak five languages. God dang. Jesus. I struggle to speak one. That's incredible. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy because here in the United States, uh, we speak English. <laughs> yeah. So. And, and, and you speak uh, like nearly a half a dozen languages, isn't it? Yeah, because in India, we've, we've got even more languages with the number of states that we mm -hmm. have. We've got plenty of languages in India. Now, now you're, I'm right about this. Globally, you're an enormous star, aren't you? You could go, go to any place on the globe. No, it just evokes a, from you, so. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into your first? Um, you, by the way, do you live with your parents? Is that true? Yes. And, and is that common in India for uh, older uh, children to live with their parents? <laughs> She's like, hey, who you call it? Oh, David. Who you call it? Oh, David. Common in India for uh, older uh, children to live with their parents? <laughs> it's fine to live with your parents mm -hmm. because. Um, it's also common in India that we don't have to take appointments with our parents to meet for dinner, so. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Dang, here in the U.S. you do got to, hey, you got to schedule that and make it an appointment to, to have dinner together. To, you got to make sure everybody work schedules lined up correctly, that everybody can't have dinner together. So you do got to set a date in advance, making that appointment. She not lying. She's not lying. I, th I think we've learned a little something here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get your uh, first job in a film? Um, it, it started with, <laughs> yeah, uh, because I first went into modeling, which happened by accident. Well, by how, did you, how did that begin? And what, what age did that happen? Were you a young girl when that began? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> keep trying to call her. Yeah. Oh. A lot of times here in the United States, we hear stories where young girls are discovered and they'd be like 16 or 17 years old and then they go on to become famous superstar models. It was something like that? Yeah, not a very different story. Yeah. yeah. So, how did you get into doing this? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Well, the other guy was sick one day and... <laughs> <laughs> and you're smooth and you're fun, right in. so... Yeah. Uh, now, is uh, this, this movie, the, uh, the uh, new movie, The Bride and Prejudice, mm -hmm. it's uh, like a Jane Austen, but the Bollywood thing, it's all musicals, is that right? Yes. Yeah. And, and are all of the movies your... If there is one thing I love, it is a musical. I love movies that contain music. My girlfriend, I mean, not my girl, I can't, my wife, she does not like movies, she does not like musicals. Can't stand them, won't watch musical movies. I am the complete opposite. I, I will, if it's got music in it, if it's a musical, I want to watch it. Because I love music so much, and when you put it in a movie, it just makes it that much better. And then you put in the dance sequences that I've seen in a couple Bollywood uh, videos. Oh my God, it's amazing. I don't know, there's something about musicals that excite me, that hype me up, that I just, I, I really do love. Uh, I'll, I'll watch most musicals just because... They're dope. Okay, but continue. I'm sorry. You're in musicals? Yes. The, yeah. mo the movies in, in India, a lot of them are musicals. And, and why, um, is, why is that? Why are they so popular there and, and not so popular in this country? Well, that's definitely the Indian movie format. It has been so mm -hmm. for a long time, and it's, it's what we've grown up on, and mm -hmm. people absolutely love it. I think it's also reflective of our culture, which is a celebration. Yeah. So we have songs for every festival, occasions, weddings, and it's kind of, I think, this whole thing of art imitates life and vice versa. Now, do you, do you have a, a dreams uh, for it's your career? part of Hollywood as well. Well, yes, I know, but, but uh, yeah, well, I guess people like still regard Chicago it recently was a musical uh -huh. production. But in the old days, like in the 30s and 40s, it was a lot of musicals in, in this country. Country, but right. and then on, uh, it comes in uh, cycles. Right. <laughs> did uh, did you see the Happy Days reunion? Uh, What's the Happy Days reunion? Uh, but uh, would you now now uh, would you do, do you see it? Do you, do you see a time when you might move to uh, uh, Hollywood? Would you ever consider that, or do you want to stay in your native country? I'd be happy to stay in my country, but I, I, we are gypsies. I mean, I, I think as actors or people who belong to the fraternity, you travel, you mm. go where work takes you. Yeah. I, I don't at this I point see any reason to have a permanent shift of residence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. All right, we, we want to show a little clip of your uh, movie, The Bride and Prejudice. Can you tell us what we're going to see? Well, it's, um, it's definitely a scene that I relate to uh, as an Indian because when people come down to India, they think, you know, going to the five-star hotels or seeing the palaces of India, and that's all that there is to India. So um, I'm, as Lalita, uh, standing up in defense of that, uh, mm -hmm. in, you know, against RC. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll see some of that here. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Wow. Ah, dang it. I know they probably clipped it out of the video for copyright reasons, but I really wanted to see a clip of it. Yeah. That's very exciting to meet you. <clears throat> and uh, the film opens on, on, on Friday. You must be very excited about that, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and uh, well, I uh, certainly hope you come back and, uh, be, uh, on the show again. Oh, any, 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 any time. Yeah, has, have, have you enjoyed the experience so far? So far, yeah. It's been wonderful. Yeah, good. Oh, There's more? <laughs> well... <laughs> There's a little more. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to meet you. Ashwari Rai, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with Three Doors Down. Ashwari was uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, she definitely seemed really cool. I'm not familiar with her. I think she... This looks like an older video of David Letterman, so it was probably before my time. Uh, but I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I loved. I'm get. I'm assuming the response that was the uh, is it common for uh, older children to live with their parents in India? She was like, it's it's not common for us for our parents to have them make an appointment to have dinner with us. Uh, so I'm assuming that was the reply, which was a good reply. But overall, this was a good interview. Uh, she seemed like she was globally famous. Uh, so I'm surprised that I didn't know her. But like I said, probably before my time. But 
25 movies in Bollywood. That's incredible. Uh, on David Letterman. So definitely got to be famous around the world as well. That's dope. That's all we have for this video. If you enjoyed that, make sure you look at this for next and subscribe to the channel. It's your boy d -Neil. Out.